Let's, uh, four. Um, so, you went to school here at the at the Barn Town School? Mm-hmm. Did, did. What, what grades did you get? I went to fifth grade. Just just the one year? Yeah, we moved and we had to change. Okay. Where, where did you live before? Here. In here? Yeah. Um... Right down the road a piece. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, so when you moved away from here, where, where did we you We went to a place called Mount Holly. Mm-hmm. We went there and we had to go to Berkeley School. Oh, the Mount, okay, Mount Down. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. All right, so it was, you said fifth grade? Mm-hmm. So, um, what, what year was that? I left when we went there in 53. 53. Okay. Okay, and Mr. Mr. Winkle, you went to school here? Yeah, one year. One year. What, yeah. what year was that? I think it was in the third grade and uh, they really closed down when in 63? I can't think so. Uh, it was a year or two before they closed. Okay, so early 60s. Something. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. two different periods. What What do you remember about your year here? Well, I remember that Mr. Hayes was our teacher. Mm-hmm. We had all the grades in one room. Mm-hmm. And um, she would let us go out. The older kids would take the smaller kids on the porch mm-hmm. and help them read. And I remember that. I remember the old healer where they had met in one time was at the middle part of the corner, like in the in the school rooms, and the kitchen was in the back part. Mm-hmm. And my aunt, she run that and cooked there. Had a hand pump, and maybe you pump the water to yeah. come up to the kitchen. Now we, we, were talking, house. we were talking about okra stew there. Do you, do you remember what she cooked? I don't remember, yeah. <laughs> but we probably did. <laughs> probably did. Probably did. Okay. Okay. Well, what, what about the, the lessons? What you, you talked about going on the porch and the older kids. So were you one of the older kids who taught the younger kids? Then? No. Oh, okay. So what, what about the lessons? They can change. And my, my, my mother, she went, uh, Mr. Hicks, at the end of the school year, she was let us pass on promotion. For six, we go in the next grade for six weeks, and if we couldn't keep up with that grade, we would have to go back oh, to grade. Okay. Mama wouldn't do that. Yeah. If we got promoted, we didn't get promoted. We stayed in the same grade we were in. Oh, okay. So that's what we did, did, did oh. like that. Well, Mr. Wick, what do, you, what do you I was pretty small. Yeah. I, I don't remember a whole bunch about it, you know, other than like the, the old building and the porch and the heater and stuff like that. And I remember the teacher. Kind of a heavy set lady. Yeah, Mr. I think Hay. her name Mr. Hay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember her a little bit. Yeah. Like I said, it's been a long time. Come about what, close forty nine years. It's hard for me to remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, where did where did you where did you go from here? I, if I remember right, I we went to Berkeley. Mm-hmm. I think I went to Berkeley. Did you did your family move or did you just change schools? I I went and stayed with my grandma. Oh, okay. I was staying with my mom up here, and then I went back to stay with my grandma. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. you went from here to the Mount Holly? Community yeah. And went to Berkeley as mm-hmm. well? And you were, that was going into the sixth grade? I was doing fifth grade. Fifth grade. I was in the fifth grade. Okay. Uh-huh. Did you, was that at the end of the year that you that you? I changed? think it was. Do you, do you remember if you had any, uh, or do you have any memories of the, of the transition of going from one school or the other? Was it difficult or easy? Or Well, I was shy when I was in school, so it was You're hard. still shy. <laughs> <laughs> Being shy in one school, shy in another. Did, how about that one? Mr. Winkle, did you, I know it's a long time ago, but do you, yeah. you recall at all that going from one school to another? Well, I, I before I come here, I went to Somerville. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the first year. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't go to Burton. I went to Latson when I left here. Mm-hmm. After I left here, I went to Latson. I think I went there like two years. Yeah. I was moved around a lot, yeah, yeah. from one place to another. Yeah. But uh, I can remember when you know, we went, I went to Latson. Then after that, I went to Berkeley. Okay. Yeah. So you moved around a lot, but in this in the street? Yeah, I was still around the area. Okay. And what was different about it, when, we, when I went to a Barnestown school, all the ages of kids in one room, and we went to Berkeley, you know, just the same age like that in one class. Yeah. It's sort of like a little house on the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> the one-room one schoolhouse. Yeah. yeah. 
Did you have that same experience when you went to the other schools? Were those, were those more? Yeah, well, different? everybody was the same age in the yeah. same class. Yeah. yeah. Well, did, uh, um, <laughs> you draw the blank there, sorry. Um, but you both, you went to different schools, but you both uh, stayed in this general area. Yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me ask you, having, having grown up in this area then, have you lived here all, all your lives? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you moved away at any point? Or? Mm-hmm. How, how have things changed oh, here? Very, very just in big. general. Yeah, I know it's a big question. Big. But, yeah. I remember when Somerville went and you know, most people wouldn't even go to a red light because it take too long to cross the road. Now, if you don't go to a red light, you don't cross the road. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I remember that good. Yeah. What, um, what, did, what did your family do for, for them? My father was a force with flowers. Oh, okay, okay. That's what he did. Mom didn't work. With the florist, though? Mm hmm. Yeah. He yeah. worked that all the time. Yeah. Did he have his own shop or did he work for it? No, he worked for Chiawana Florist. Oh, okay. Well, Stephen, yeah. when she says floors, it's not the floors you're kind of thinking about arranging flowers. Yeah, what am I thinking? Because you raise the flowers, you know, plant them. He planted and did a horticulture part. Nursery. 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 Yeah. Okay. He could take, a, like, a zillion, yeah. and he'll draft, a, I mean, a camellia, yeah. and draft another one to it. And when it blooms, it's got more than one oh, okay. color, okay. you know, yeah, camellia. Yeah, that's, well, and he was rude. Yeah, botany. That's he was rude his, because um, he did a lot of work at home, and, he sold it from, from the house. Yeah. He was rude his azaleas by going out and getting a little twig off the top or something, sticking in some kind of sand. And he had root his um, azaleas and find them in pots. Like that. Where did he learn that, do you think? Where I learned it from. Where, where did he learn to do that? It's just something he did. Yeah. Did he, did, did, did he grow other things at, at home? All kind of flowers. Yeah. yeah. My mom grew in her garden. Yeah. What about, what about your family? Well, like I said, we just moved around and around. Uh, Mom and Dad parted when I was a baby. And then I stayed with Mom and my stepfather, and then a lot of my granny. I stayed with her as much as I could. I always did love to stay with her. Did she live here? Uh, she lived in Somerville, and then she moved up on 176. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I stayed with her. Yeah. What, did you, what did you like about her? I, well, I was around all my life, and on Mom's side, yeah. Dad, Dad, people, I don't know much about them. Really, if they walk, a lot of them walk up to me, I wouldn't even know them. Because yeah. we never fool around with them much. But with her, I don't know, I just like to be with her. Yeah. That's just one of the things. I got an uncle and aunt, we was raised together, they're a little older than I am, but they feel like brothers and sisters because we was raised together. Yeah. I just love to stay with her. So, what else, what else has changed? Around? Oh, a lot of things. We had it rough. Yeah, how's that? Because I can remember when we would start the school, we didn't go for the first couple of weeks. We had to pick cotton mm-hmm. and make the money to buy our shoes, which we only got one pair of shoes a year, and that was the beginning of school. Mm-hmm. And, and we would pick cotton to pay for our books and did you uh, uh, pick cotton on other people's yeah. farms and mm-hmm. get hired to, to pick? Mm-hmm. And we heard a story earlier about somebody putting a brick in their uh, cotton bag, uh, but you've you never heard of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so school school started, but you weren't there until the first you, until you got to you got done. We had to get money to you know yeah. pay for the stuff. Yeah, yeah. And we picked cotton to do it. Right? Do you remember what, what they paid? Paid by, paid by the uh, So much weight? a pound, that's all yeah. I know. And we get big old sheet like burlap. Mm-hmm. And then we pick the bag of cotton. But we had to put a bag around your neck, drag it down the long rows of cotton. Mm-hmm. You know, and they come back and dump it and they'll tie mm-hmm. it up and weigh it like that. Yeah. Yeah. And Here. then when we, um, during Christmas time, like these kids these days just got it blessed. Oh, we, doing the, during the year, mm-hmm. we didn't get no kind of fruit or nothing like that until Christmas. Mm-hmm. We got one toy mm-hmm. at Christmas time. That's it. Candy, we didn't get no candy on Friday. Daddy would take a, a note to a little country store, and, and they would fix it up, the box up, and he would bring it on Friday evening. Mm-hmm. We got one box of Cracker Jacks. 
I remember that. We <laughs> see good little prizes. Yeah, oh yeah. And Mama would get one almond joy. Uh, that's all we got that week. We didn't get nothing else. And like people these days, you got to have rice, gravy, beans, and everything. No. Mm-hmm. If we got rice and greens, we was lucky. Yeah. We get grits, we like get a little piece of fat back, a little bit of grease on the top. We had, we thought we had something. <laughs> you know, and Kool-Aid and stuff like that. Yeah. You got well water. Yeah. yeah. I remember we used to have a well, and um, these little wiggle things to be in the water. Wiggle tails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, when you draw the bucket, you know, draw the bucket of water, we have to throw it with a rope. You have to get that and take the little wiggle things out before you could drink it. Yeah. Sometimes I always got so bad, Daddy would add some bleach to the water yeah. and let it set for so long. Well, that it, well it women are about 10, 15 yeah. foot deep. Oh. And then you could... <laughs> the water table here, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then yeah. take it, because we, we had a wood here, the heat by, we had a kerosene stove to cook by. We would take a tin tub, draw the water out the well in the morning time, put it in the tub to take a bath that, that night. That night. Sit so out in the sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What y'all use for soap? We have soap. Did you have octagon soap or something? We have. Uh-huh. Yeah. We would make it. And you made soap. My grandmother would make it. With, 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 with the pork, I mean, with the uh, uh, I, I don't fat know. and that sort something of thing. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's I a, but I we was clean. Yeah, no, it's a complicated it, and, um, it's a complicated. We process. didn't have that much to eat, but yeah. we was full. But most of it, we had love, and that's yeah. what kept us going. What did you, 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 the wiggle thing, you called them something else. Wiggle tails. Wiggle tails. Yeah, they're just a little tiny thing, but they're wiggling, the tail yeah. wiggles. Yeah, yeah. I think what it is, it really is little tiny tap holes, <laughs> what it looked like. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, but like I said, the well went about 10 foot deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's the one that didn't kill us all. <laughs> I know. Did you have good <laughs> uh, Are you, Were your experiences similar? Did yeah, about the same. Did you, did you ever pick cotton? No, no, I was lucky. I didn't yeah. Have to <laughs> you just sometimes you would get stung by the cotton worm, sort of thing. Is it like a, a swell, like that? Like a got a little seat? horn on the head. Yeah, okay. That horn that was hit. Yeah. I was lucky on that. I didn't pick cotton. Yeah. yeah. I remember we were playing in gardens though, know, but we never had pick cotton. What'd you grow in the gardens? Vegetables. With yeah. tomatoes. Tomatoes, peas, mm-hmm. and all, any, you know, anything yeah. that you grow and cook. I remember Green. one thing. Yeah. It was Thanksgiving. We didn't have no meat or nothing to cook that day. Daddy said, that's all right. I'm going to get us Thanksgiving dinner. He got his gun, his rifle, and he went back in the woods and killed a turkey. A wild turkey. And brought it back, and that's what we had for Thanksgiving, for wild turkeys. Are there a lot of wild turkeys? Yeah, plenty of them. Yeah. During that time, it was. Uh-huh. It is now. The one time you couldn't shoot them, but now you yeah, can. Yeah. We had squirrels, rabbits. That's the kind of meat we could, we got. Yeah. We didn't get no meat from the store. Yeah. yeah. Chickens off the yard. Yeah. We just, you know. Other, other than turkeys what, and squirrels, you mentioned. Squirrels and rabbits. rabbits. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daddy would go frog gigging. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> talk, talk, talk a little bit. For, for people that, I actually know what that is, but for people who don't know what that is, explain what, what from frog gigging is. But how do you, how Daddy do you would um, take... A, a crook a, a bag mm-hmm. and he would have his flashlight and he had a long pole with a fork on it. Fork, looked like a fork. It's got three you know, prongs oh, on it. Yeah, yeah. And he'd take that flashlight and the frog has got big eyes and when he see it then he'd just walk easy. Yeah. Yeah. You just the legs? Just the back yeah. legs. Yeah. Yeah. It was good too. <laughs> where do you get the uh, um, where do you get the, 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 the pokers? I don't know. You can buy it. You can buy them out the hardware stores and stuff. Like, back back then, country stores. No, back then. I know Daddy had one. I, I couldn't tell you where he got it from. Back, back then, you had the old country stores. Yeah, and you can buy you them. Can buy them. Oh, okay, okay. My my dad used to talk about about doing that as well, and it just occurred to me. I wonder, you know, I guess there had to be a specialty, you know, tool. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah it, it, you know, it had a long handle on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you just stick it. Is it just, you get by the streams and lakes and stuff? Or is well, it, or is ponds it? and oh, lakes. Daddy would go to the frog live, frog live in anything like that. Yeah, Any kind of pond, if water stayed there long enough, you have frogs. Yeah, the frogs rather than toads. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to eat toads. Yeah. Um, um, any other, other wild game? Rabbits, rabbits and squirrels. Well, 
Yeah. Oh, matter of fact, coons. And, yeah. I've heard my, my granny talking about the, these deep possums now. I, I have. No possum. I have. <laughs> I yeah. can't go down I mean, think about it now, you know. But Mama would cook it, and it was good, and we had it. Did you ever get turtle? Yeah. I have yeah. turtle soup. Turtle and the turtle has got the hardest egg to cook. Um, How do you cook the egg? turtle egg? I don't know. <laughs> Mama could hardly ever get done, but she was born. I was busted. Yeah. It open. Yeah. We had turtle soup. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when they used to do that. They put a wash tub up and put hot water in it mm -hmm. and stick him in there and get him out. Shell. Sure, I remember that. I was a little fellow about The most meat you would get would be off of the neck of the turtle mm -hmm. and the leg. Would you eat the turtle, the turtle, or would you use that meat to make a stew or soup out of it? Mama would use the meat. Did we, as close to the coast as we are here, did, did y'all eat a lot of fish? Or yeah. yeah. You did the seafood, anything like that, that much? Or? No. No, we, no, we, we used to just, you know, go fishing and catch out a lot. Most yeah. of our fish did we eat. And if we go in go catch the swamps. Dig worms. Catch the little okay. pikes. Okay. Which would they catch what? Pikes. Pikes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a fish about so, it'd be yeah. about so long. About a long, so, narrow. Round. Kind yeah. of round like. What else do they catch here? Bass, bass, brim, catfish, crappie. Yeah. You eat crappie? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> catfish, you like catfish? Yeah, oh, they got a lot of catfish. And uh, uh, how they have the, the fish, did they, did they uh, fry it or? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah fry it. Okay. What else? What else we need? What was, we've talked about food an awful lot. <laughs> what, what was the best treat you can think of to get to eat when you were a child? Well, on Christmas we used to get candy and apples. Mm -hmm. I remember that when we were small. That's what, me, Christmas time. You mentioned the Cracker Jacks. Yeah, Cracker Jacks, Christmas. we got those every Friday. Yeah. We got a box of Cracker Jacks. Right. <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, I, I did want to ask that this... Um, one of the things I think when we're talking about about the school here is, is, is its importance in the community. Um, growing up, did you did you think of yourselves as being part of a, a unique community? Um, since you know you have you have this school here that, that was partly created uh, because of, of segregation and, and so forth. Did you have a sense of that growing up though? A sense of yourself as part of a. a, a his own unique community, or, or did that even ever enter your head? No, not really, not me. Yeah, yeah. And so going going to the other schools, no, no other issues uh, in terms of being accepted or. or I or, I felt like an outsider. Yeah, explain. Because I um, like I said, we we got in clothes was mostly hand me down. Yeah. And we get one pair of shoes a year, and when I wear my shoes. I don't know how, but they go sideways, my foot goes sideways. I, I, so that makes your shoes sort of run over. Mama didn't, uh, Dad didn't care how they look. You didn't get another pair of shoes to that next year. And kids would make fun at you. And I reckon that's how I come up with that, you know. Were the, you, you went from here to uh, Berkeley? Mm hmm were the, were the kids there that much better off? The, the way they dressed and stuff, yeah, yeah I would say so. Well, they're mostly whites in the, yeah. in the school, you know. Yeah. We went there, it was like outsiders. Yeah. 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 And so it was only four of us girls, and we would wear each other's clothes. So. So you're, you're we didn't have that much of clothes, so we just, you know, switch around. Yeah. So you weren't wearing the same thing every day? You no, know, we would switch around. Yeah. We might have about three or four, you know, outfits uh, all hand-me-down. Well, do, do you think that, and as a, as a child, you probably probably didn't know for sure, but do you think that you felt like an outsider because of your, your being poor or for not being part of the white community or maybe both? Right, or not being, being poor. poor. They, look, they look down on you. Yeah. yeah. Well, they were I, white, I, right? Yeah. So yeah. you were going to a white school? Right. And now, why was that a white school? Well, that was what it was going there for. And when they closed these other schools down, then we had to go there. Uh -huh. They're a black school, so we always went to the white and fight. <laughs> okay, and fight. <laughs> and fight. Okay, now, uh, 
What school were you coming from? Uh, when you went to the white school, when you left, what school were you leaving? The, well, like I, I, said, the, I moved around quite a bit. You moved around. Yeah. Did you go to any of the other Indian schools no, in Somerville or at No, or? there was one that Somerville was closed down for a while. How Before you, you got up there, you were yeah. up there in the 50s. Yeah. So, but you knew you were going to a white school. Mm -hmm. This is before the black students were there, right? Or was that at the same time? Yeah, that's when they were there. So you, you came we, in with, with, with them as well? So, well, yeah, yeah I went to see. Well, when I started out, I went to Sunwell mm -hmm. the first year, and that mostly all the whites in there. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I wound up coming here a year. Then I went to Latson, then I went to Berkeley. And you know how it is. Yeah. yeah. Did your parents tell you anything uh, to prepare you to go to that other school about those other people? No, they say don't pay them no attention. <laughs> you know how that is. Yeah. But you mentioned you mentioned fighting. Yeah, oh yeah, I've yeah. been in a lot of fights. <laughs> they made me mad. We had we didn't hook up. <laughs> <laughs> well, was it? What were they? Were they? I'm assuming they they were. What uh, call you call names? Your names and, yeah, and, they call you names. It won't last for long. But then you're gonna fight. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all call them names? Well, I was gonna do something. I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna get my <laughs> <laughs> So so what ha so what happened to you? Get in the fight? Would you? Would you just? just well, well sometimes we got in trouble. Sometimes you know it was out in in the yard. Yeah. Didn't, no, I didn't know. I didn't tell it. No, it just went on. No. Did all the bar town fellas get together and help each other in the fight? Well, when I left here, I went to Latson, and then all the rest of them went to Berkeley. And then later, I went to Berkeley mm -hmm. after that. Later. But when you got down there, did all the folks from your community? Hang out together and support each other, even in a fight, or did they just? It was all scattered. All scattered. You know, different raids and stuff. Well, when you when you came back to Berkeley, did you feel like you were part of the Varnertown group, or were you even further outside of things? We're not. Well, like, like I said, I was only here one year. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But you know, I know a lot of them. Okay, you, you know, still so you yeah. still had had those connections. Yeah. With them. Okay. And did you encounter these, any of these problems? They called me name. I just keep it on the way. I said nothing. Where, where do you think that came from? Is that how you were raised? Yeah, we don't. Mom found out we said anything, we got whipped. Yeah. And if we did something, I remember we was going to a Barnstown school. We was going home that afternoon. It was cold. And Stella Park, she was um, stopped at me that time. Mm -hmm. Something, she spit at me or something. And I pushed her. Uh, I wasn't going to tell Mama nothing about it. I just went on home. She went home and told her mom. Or her mom come down there, because we didn't live that far apart. Her mom come there and told my mom that what happened. Mm -hmm. But Mama didn't believe that she spit on me, because she said she didn't. I got a whipping. And I had to take my coat off. I had a coat off, because mm -hmm. it was cold. Mm -hmm. We got home, I had to take my, my um, coat off. You wouldn't get us spanking with a coat on. <laughs> if not a spanking, you get a switch. Mama would make us go you get and your own? own switch. And if it's not big enough the way she wants it, you go back and get another one. And then when she got finished whipping us, we had to hush. We couldn't cry. If we, did, if we kept on crying, she'd whip us again. What do you think she was, she was trying to teach you? I don't know, but, you know, I always think that if DSS was back there... Those days when I was doing, Mama would have been under the jail. Yeah, yeah. well. So, I mean, she really, well, when she your, whipped us, she your whipped Your mama, us. my mama. This she whipped us. His mama, this Sometimes, you know, little your switches that she make us look like a chicken foot. Yeah. Got these three prongs on it. Mm -hmm. And when she hits you, blood will come up that skin. But you don't cry. You might look at it, but you don't cry. Yeah, but you, that helped people, though. Yeah, explain. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you get whipped like that, day, when you grow up, you learn. I learn to work, and what I want, I buy. I work for it, and not go steal it. Yeah. Yeah. But these days in time, you can't beat your own kids or nothing. Well, watch how it turns out. Yeah. Mama would say, I'm whipping you, but I love you. Uh, if you love me so much, why are you whipping me? Did you ever get... 
uh, if you got in a fight at school, did that get home? Did you get did you get in trouble when you got home for that, or is that? I, I always know? kept my head because <laughs> I get another one when I got oh, home. Okay. <laughs> Not pretty right. most people was. You do something in school, the teacher beat you or whatever. You get home, you get another one if they find it out. So I didn't tell them. <laughs> was school harder at the, at, the, uh, at Berkeley? I'd say yeah, it was probably harder. The lessons? Yeah, were harder. it would probably be harder. Did you, going from, from the Varnertown School to, to Berkeley, did you, did you find it to be harder or different? Or? Harder. Yeah. Were there any Indian teachers? No. Not where I was at. No, not there. Or principal. Well, okay. <laughs> that's been quite, quite a long time. No. Any questions? Did you play sports? Did any Indians that you know participate in the other activities around school, did they just go to school and then come home? The ones I know went to school and come home. The ones you knew went to school and come home? They couldn't afford it not to go home. They couldn't afford to be in extracurricular activities mm-hmm. and stuff because that meant extra work on the same So you had to come home and possibly work around the farm or whatever. Right. So you didn't have time actually. There's no such thing as cheerleading or baseball. They had yearbooks in 1950. You know what I mean? The yearbook committee. They had those things. So I just wondered, were you all welcomed at the in those school activities with other kids, and and did you participate if you wanted to or could? Those that had the means. Well, I, we could have, I guess, but we didn't. We never, at least none, no, nobody I know did. Did you all have proms? I didn't make it out of high school. I, I went to ninth grade. And, and then you dropped out? Mm-hmm. Did, did you go to your prom? They didn't have prom. I dropped out too. You dropped out too. What, what did you do drop out? Uh, sixth grade. Sixth? Yeah, I went to high six and dropped out. Went to work. You went I to wanted work? to work. Where'd you work? I went doing carpenter work. Oh, okay. You, it, you know, Henry, Henry Clark, his uh-huh. brother. Mm-hmm. I went to work with his brother. You were 12, 13? No, I was about 15, I think. Oh, 15. Oh. Might have been 15, somewhere there. I just turned 15. Did you, did you know how to do carpentry work already? No, or? not when I first started. They, they, teach, they teach it? Mm-hmm. There's like a apprenticeship? Or you, you, know, yeah, we, uh, you know, well, we're all family. Yeah, so, okay. And they were, they were house builders, so I went to work with them. You still do carpentry? Garage doors now. Oh, this is kind of related. Yeah, it's a little bit easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What'd you do when you, you dropped out? Who me? Yeah. Got married. Got married. Dropped out in June. Got married in July. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um. Oops. Yes. Good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I hope we can come back and talk with you some more. Uh, I'll run through everybody quickly today. Thank you very much.